And then the question was, well, why hasn't anyone done this before? You know, this, is, this is a problem that affects you know, thousands of people potentially every summer. Australia is probably the most fire-prone landscape in the world, Victoria being probably the worst. Yet, we didn't have a way of predicting fire spread. Dr Kevin Tolhurst, I'm Associate Professor of Fire Ecology and Management at the University of Melbourne. I'm based at the Creswick campus, which is a rural campus about 120 k's west of Melbourne, close to the forests. I've worked with Kevin Tolhurst on Phoenix Rapid Fire now since 2005. Within one or two minutes, basically that fire, there's a prediction of where that fire is likely to be for the next six hours on an hourly basis from that point. So that can immediately tell you uh, its potential to spread, but also in that spread, what its potential to perhaps do damage is, what is in the path of that fire. It's accuracy within 9%. Now, given all the uncertainties about the weather and the terrain and the fuels and, and all the rest of it, plus or minus 9% is, is fabulous. <laughs> because every big fire starts off as a small fire. People often lose track of that. If, if you can get there within 10 minutes of it starting, you can put just about any fire out. The, the scenario that Phoenix printed out, it covered a big area and we had sort of um, concentrated our mind and our efforts on that eastern flank, which basically saved uh, all but one house in the town. So part of the reason for developing uh, Phoenix Rapid Fire is to improve our decision making process in a whole lot of things. It's not just about protection of life and property when a wildfire is occurring, but also how we manage fire across the landscape and what the implications of that will be in the long term. Phoenix would not have happened outside of a university context. Th this type of work doesn't happen in the commercial world. So the, the universities provide a great environment where you can throw rule books out and try, try crazy things that you would never get away with in a public space. And it's a safe place to try crazy things. 